The roof is brand spanking new. That thing just got put on there last year by the current or owner. But then other than that, you got to go in and put the whole thing back together, right? So this property is totally vacant, and we're able to get you guys into this property so you could go ahead and put together your bid, your scope of work, right? So whether it's you, you and your realtor, you and your contractor, you and your property manager, However you want to handle it, uh, we'll be able to get you and any of those necessary people into the property. Just in case there is anybody bed. too far away from there. I just hear a smoke alarm. Sure. Just wait to get to the front. You can't even walk in that room. Well, it's nice and breezy up here, though. Mm-hmm. No way we'll do that. Used to be a window here. Yeah, I'm not stepping in this room, but as you can see, all the insulation is now on the floor. Third floor, this is connected to one of the second floor units. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, this is the party room for the stoners. Yeah? Yeah. Party room, stoners. You wanna go upstairs here? You wanna go upstairs back in the center? You wanna go to the basement? Yeah, let's go check out the basement. He said no, whatever. Hello? That must be Derek. So, if not, we're being ambushed. Yeah, you go film that front one. Is that you, Derek? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all, if you're a rehabber in Warren, I want you to pay attention, man, because we got a building that needs a little bit of love. And when I say a little bit of love, it, it needs a lot of love, man. It's very lonely. It's, it needs a hug. It's, it's, it's like uh, one of them kids that show up at schools with uh, trench coats on. You know what I'm saying? It needs a lot of love, baby. 204 Porter Street. Warren, Ohio, okay? It's a five-unit apartment building, and it needs a full-on reno, except for uh, the roof. The roof is brand spanking new. That thing just got put on there last year by the current or owner. But then other than that, you got to go in and put the whole thing back together, right? So this property is totally vacant, and we're able to get you guys into this property so you could go ahead and put together your bid, your scope of work, right? So whether it's you, you and your realtor, you and your contractor, you and your property manager, However you want to handle it, uh, we'll be able to get you and any of those necessary people into the property so you can put together the scope of work and uh, bid out how much it's going to cost you to put this thing together. Because once you put it together, you're going to be able to bring in a ton of rent, y'all. We are looking at a projected rental rate of approximately 4245 a month, right? Because we got two one-beds, two two-beds, and a big old three-bed, right? So you're going to be bringing home over $4,000 a month when you get in there and put this thing together, right? Just kind of ballparking it based upon what we're seeing here in the footage. Uh, I would say you're looking at a rehab estimate uh, probably between like 80 and 100K, okay? Now, there's obviously going to be a lot of variables to that depending what you do, how you do it, et cetera, et cetera. So you're really, you're going to want to need to get inside of that thing and really put that together. So I want you guys to do that. I implore you guys to do that because the only offers we're going to be accepting on this particular property are going to be as is cash offers, right? So none of this like, hey, I'll pay 129 but my contractor's got to look at it. That's great, dog. I'm glad your contractor's got to look at it. You and your contractor, we're going to get your asses in there. You look at it all you fucking want. Then and only then uh, will we field your offer, right? None of this, oh, just take it off the market while we fucking think about if we want to buy the motherfucker or not, right? Y'all want to inspect it? Great. I want y'all to inspect it. You inspect the hell out of it. You go ahead and give it two, three, four, five, six inspections for all I care, except for all them inspections are going to happen before we put it under contract, right? We're not just going to take it off the market while you uh, think about it, okay? So as is offers, man, you're going to do all that due diligence up front when you're ready to make those as-is offers with non-refundable earnest money at that point in time. What you want to do is submit your offers to me, right, my team, sales at holtonwise.com. 
Hey, man, 204 Porter, I want to offer 129.9. Here's my proof of funds. We close in 10 days. Let's rock and roll, right? Until you are at that point where you are ready to do that, Again, we're not interested in fielding your offers. Uh, but if you or your team want to get in there, let me know. If you hit us up before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will actually get you in the property same day. If it's after 5 o'clock, we can get you in there the very next business day, right? So sales at HoltonWise.com for you guys to get access to the property. And then same place to submit your offers, sales at HoltonWise.com. And if you're thinking about doing a big old cash out refinance after you put this thing back together and you're generating well over $4,000 a month and you need lenders, don't you worry, y'all. I am here. I am here to get you guys those lenders, right? So just let me know. I got lenders who work with investors from all over the USA, and they work with investors who are out of the country, right? Canadian citizens, folks in the UK, folks in Singapore. We got investors all over. We got a bunch of folks in Latin America, things of that nature, okay? So if you guys need lenders to pull out the big old cash out refinance, let me know. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Those upstairs, right? There's stairs right here. Yeah. No, those foot, foot, or was that us? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's see if we can get into this. Unit. Get unit? Yeah. Just in case there is any bench. Too far away from there. I just hear a smoke alarm. Sure. This this one looks a lot more open and more welcoming. Like this side. Oh, this one's actually kind of clean. AKA, like, there's still painting walls. This boy's fresh. You know what I'm thinking? Is that window being open up there? Is just shuffling around stuff? Because I don't think anybody's here. Probably not. Yeah. Nobody would want to willingly stay in this place. I don't go that far. You said I wouldn't go that far. Is this? What the fuck room is this? Bathroom? Bathroom's over here. Oh, okay. Want to call the smoke alarm? Yep, I hear it. This room was for the bed. Is that the basement, maybe? No. I didn't see a basement. I didn't see oh, I think there is basement access and there's another stair hall. Beautiful bathroom. Whoa, look at that, there's a door. We can go right through that. It's stuck to the ground now. Not for long. So we got one basement access, we got another up unit access here. All these units must be like a little bit connected. Fucking raccoons breaking in here. Look at these claw marks. <laughs> I think that's what we're here moving around, probably. That'd be preferred. Yeah. Well, yeah. It definitely outweighs the alternative. I think Derek's down on the phone. I don't want to venture too far without him. Not that problem. I know I could have moved that piece of wood, but it's probably the only thing holding that door in the frame. Possibly. <laughs> so you want to go upstairs here? You want to go upstairs back in the center? You want to go to the basement? Yeah, let's go check out the basement. He said no, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna come back through here. Okay. I trust you. Hello. Looks like a basement. Okay. Cool. Like a murder basement or a regular basement? A regular basement. Damn it! It has like slightly murderous undertone. Did you just check those steps to see if they were like 
Oh no, you're looking for... No, I was just peeking my head down. The stairs, are, everything seems pretty solid here. Yeah. I don't think there was a fire or anything. It's just those back steps that really made us think that this place was about to fall apart. I think it just got pulled out. Um, we got a couple hot water tanks down that way. Yep. Yeah, electric panels right here. Right Although, not that these really matter that much. Because. And this one's like fucking stuck closed. There we go. We got, we got a furnace in here, we got a furnace behind you. Unlabeled shit. We got a furnace here. It's not connected. Look at that son of a bitch. <laughs> the one in the front room is a little newer looking. I don't know why I'm filming these. These are only good for scrap. Don't give anybody ideas. I mean, they're here. That must be there. I fucking hope so. If not, we're being ambushed. Yeah, you go film that front one. Is that you, Derek? Okay. Where are you? I'm Yo. To find you. Don't leave me down here in this fucking murder dungeon. <laughs> Creepy ass shit. These ones are the ones in that front hallway. These? Okay. I think these ones. I mean, these actually like look kind of fun. How much was it? It's like twenty five hundred. Yeah, hold on, I'll tell you, I got the whole... For fucking water, dude? $2,382.17. Pay your bills, you bastards. Yikes. You didn't go up yet? No. Maybe, maybe it doesn't look so good. Oh, fuck. I mean, you it's really fine, but the unit doesn't look good. check in here. Well, yeah, well, that's the basement. Oh, Hello, please. I'm gonna walk the middle. Yeah, we should. There's no. We either gotta go to the attic or climb through the stud. And I'm not going to the attic. I don't see a point. I mean, it might not. It looks kind of clean. You want to peek your head up there, see if it's. Is that Derek talking? Yeah, he's coming up from that way. I'll peek my head up here real quick. Okay. Another unit. Oh, it's another unit? Oh, well, it's going up, dude. Oh, Poo poos. Well, that means this will lead out to a common hallway in the front, too, so. I don't think it does. What? It doesn't look like it. Unless that's what some of those uh, small ass staircases were working. For. I bet they were. Oh, lock. We was here. You also. You can't read that. This guy got fucking lost, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see a bathroom. Oh, 
Oh, this is the party room for the stoners. Yeah? Yeah. Party room, stoners. Yeah. Ebony was here. Yeah. So we're in the third floor. This is connected to one of the second floor units. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh. I am here to serve you only, Miss Kiso. And only my little princess. Are you on the other side of that bulk wall? Mr. Derek? This place is fucking nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to that middle stair hole now. I, yeah. Get in that unit. I guess so. This fucking thing is huge, though, dude. Yeah. It's like uh and it's in such bad shape, it's like the fucking back rooms almost. <laughs> I wonder which way you went up to. Eric! Which stair halls could go up? The longer one? Oh I see it. So the sun is two lower, two middle, and one up. Alright, well, I think we did two middle ones. Yeah. This is just gonna be on the other side of that wall. We'll just finish this side of the building and we'll go back to the other side. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Nice, dude. Living room comes with its own complimentary piss bucket. What? Not yet. We're gonna be on that side of the building. This is just a couple rooms. This is a perfectly set up toilet. Go on the porch off the back. Is it that? Is it? Oh yeah, because that's the one that's falling off. I just look sketchy. Damn man, I don't need to like this anymore. All this square wood. Yep. No, that third floor is blocked. Yeah, third floor on the, the like the unit above us isn't so bad. <laughs> Most of these rooms are filled with asbestos. That's what he does, man. He's he just like, goes I off. I care if I get stabbed. If I get murdered. If I get murdered, it won't be on camera. Oh. <sighs> Don't do that shit. <laughs> He almost got whopped with the camera, bro. <laughs> Took one look at me and was like, bro. You want to go all the way up, all the way down? All the way up is probably the most fucked one, I think. Bro, this whole place is fucked. What are you talking about? Yeah. Man. Sweet.
it's a good for the front. You can't even walk in that room. Well, it's nice and breezy up here, though. Mm-hmm. No window will do that. Used to be a window here. <laughs> Used to be. I mean... It is pretty breezy. Yeah, this is that porch that we were talking about. If you want to go step on that. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking maybe I'd take that down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys can come visit me in the hospital. <laughs> what would you do if you survive? Oh. Uh, I grabbed your sticks and I can test fails and work those out and around. No, I'll just do it. I'll test it. He's on my knees. You can feel it. Yeah, everything's. Damn, dude, cool. raccoons are just coming in the bathroom and shitting. Well, ain't no window to stop him. Oh, look at all that shit. A bunch of shit and toes to you. Or the tub. Ew and ew. Yeah, I'm not stepping in this room, but as you can see, all the insulation is now on the floor. Alright. That floor is really warm. I bet. Alright, we're almost done, brother. There, did you by chance find the basement on this side? Not on this side. They're not connected in the basement. I, uh, I didn't look too hard either, though. Alright. What do we got? Fucking sun glare. I ain't even gotta go in this room. Yeah. Dude, check out this really nice brand <laughs> Oh shit, I do gotta go in that room now. Fuck, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking renovations have Fucking begun. The newest thing in here. You don't even look at that. They did most of the work for you. Just buy this. It's ready to go. Is that another room in there or is that just a big closet? These are just two closets. That's all. Cool. I'm not even. I mean, what's the point? What's the point of most of this? What's the point? Yeah, it's a closet. Alright, so, oh wait, I didn't do this bathroom. Or did I? I don't think I did. No. I would remember coming in here. How the, are you still alive, Mr. Todd? We ain't caught any webs yet. He just comes and goes as he pleases. There's nothing to look at. Beautiful shower access. Yeah. It should just be for the two that are over here, though. Yeah. Because there were three furnaces down there and three. Those have any poo. Yeah. There is no basement. Huh. You saw us right there. So, how. Uh, I can see in there, it's full of tires. Ow! This is a staircase that just goes up. Yeah, Oh, I know what it is. It's that side door that... It... Yeah, I know, but I don't know if we can uh, get in there. Side door. Yeah, we can the door up. Wait, there are steps there going down. Locked, There's still... What's in here? This is a closet? Not anymore! This is that, uh... It was. This is that real small staircase that we saw. Yo, put some bucks laying on the ground, bro. I saw that. Ooh. Oh, shit. The tender says right on it. 50 bucks, legal tender, baby. Money, boys! 
Don't even go up there, man. Don't leave any money on the table. Go ahead and buy yourself I'm kidding, you don't have to go up there. You won't be able to stand. And who even knows where the fuck it goes? I don't know. We're going to find out. Alright, good luck this with that. So wait. Is this just a closet too? Yeah. Oh, I can see outside from this one though. Um, in the event we can't get in there, just come to the coat here, uh, poke the camera through this hole, and then we'll see if we can get in from outside. But like, you can kind of see basement. That door is not locked, so it shouldn't be a problem. But you see, there's just nothing but fucking tires in there. Yeah. You want to flash your light down behind too, just so they can. It's just a fucking abyss. There you go. There she is, boys. I'm just gonna sneak yeah. around this and see where it goes. Oh, it's just a closet. This is a closet. Yeah, with the stairs. Yeah. Really? It just fucking goes to nowhere. That's stupid. Everything about this place, goddamn dumb. Oh, man. I don't even know if I filmed this room now. Now I'm confused. If you walk through here, I don't know if you filmed all that. All that, right, man. I keep stepping on nails. Thank God I have good soles on my shoes. I'll give you guys five bucks. You eat some of this lead paint off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Winchester Mansion, if it was like shitty. I was out here in Warren with my boys and we were doing hood rat shit. I think we can just go right out the front door. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buy it. You know what, I wonder if we should run through and close that back door. So that's like the easiest access point. The one that was open when we got yeah. here? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I gotta get my stick. I don't know, RIP. Couple dead birds. Excuse me, D Rock's got a stick. Hit you with the So, just for future reference video editing people, these are the kind of places we want to go to. Please find more houses like this to sell. It's like an adventure, bro. I feel adventurous. Adventure time. I'm gonna close this back door. Hopefully it'll keep out some of the critters. Hell, I'm feeling frisky. I might even lock it. Well, I can't lock it. There you go. Lock the handle. Hell yeah, dude. It's like every room you go in is like a choose your adventure novel. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Hey, somebody roll a five. No dice. E. It's a shame. It looks like somebody started working on this and then just gave up. Just got overwhelming, I guess.
cool. All right, I'll lock the front door and get out of here. Off to the next misadventure. We was here. I think that's gonna conclude it. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.